Hi guys, this is my first YouTube video. Um, I'm gonna be doing a video on postpartum care. Most people don't talk about this. So it's something that I really wanted to talk about. I was so unaware when I had my first child back in 2006. Um, I was not prepared at all. <laughs> the hospital does provide you with some things, but nowhere near as much as you're gonna need. And you can find better quality of those things on Amazon or Target. So I'll be going through those things today. I'm currently 37 weeks. I am about to pop any day now, already feeling minor contractions here and there. Um, all right, so let's get into it. I'm going to link all the items down below. And first of all, you want to get like a basket. I got this basket from the dollar store. So you can just put all your important items right over the toilet seat, easy access. Nobody wants to be going crazy after you have all these stitches down there if you're having a vaginal birth looking for products when you're trying to just relieve yourself ASAP. So first things first, from the basket we're gonna do first, I have these. These are always, they're huge. <laughs> Never use these for any pregnancy, but many people said that they were great. It's like a big panty diaper. And um, they're just gonna absorb all that blood because yes, first time moms, you're going to bleed a lot. If you have a vaginal birth like I've had for my other two. This is what the packaging looks like. Um, I got a large because, you know, booty's a little big. <laughs> I know I could probably fit a medium, but I just wanted the large. And um, then I have these pads, which are these always overnight maxi pads. So I just have like about five in my basket. And of course I'll be refilling the basket as I use the products. You're going to bleed a lot, a lot for a few weeks. So you wanna be prepared. After I'm done using those and the diapers, I'll move down to these overnight ones. And those are these always. Infinity, my favorite brand for pads. And then, once I'm bleeding a little bit less, I'll move down to these, which is number three. Again, always in fitting. They absorb a lot. Packed. Um, And don't mind the mess in the back. We just had our drop-off baby shower on Saturday, and it was a major, major success. Our family and friends bought us basically everything off our registry. So that was awesome. Thank God. Um, also, squirty bottle. So they're going to give you these in the hospital. I bought an extra one on Amazon because I want to use these in multiple bathrooms. So I want to have one in all my bathrooms and I want to be ready to squirt. Now, the Paris bottle. They have this on, they have this on Amazon and at Target. I heard this is way better. Never use this, only use the other squirty bottle. Um, because, I'll show you, I'm going to open it. I never opened it yet. It actually has this shape to it. So as you're like squeezing the water, some people put witch haze on here. Um, it's going to give you instant relief and you're going to be able to get right in that area. I had stitches with both kids, so I'm assuming I'm going to have stitches again with this shot as well. This is my third and final you wanted a girl so bad and we were blessed to have one thank god okay witch hazel pads never use this for any pregnancy either but they're highly recommended these can get them off amazon so basically when you put your thingy on <laughs> your pamper thing or some panties um you're gonna make like a sandwich so you'll do that and then you'll put your pad and we'll get into the ice packs. You can put an ice pack there and you're gonna lay these on top. These are round and you could just probably lay like three layers and just sit it there and it's gonna give you instant relief. I heard though the Freedom Mom brand actually has witch hazel pads that are um, even better because they're long. So they actually will shape perfectly when you're putting it down there on top of the pad. I might order those, but I might not because I already have these. I also have tucks just in case you want to be prepared if you have hemorrhoids or anything like that. I know these aren't fun things to talk about, but this is stuff that you need to know. This 
oh my goodness um thermoplast guys this was amazing instant relief for both my kids um i heard that frida has a witch hazel spray and some people rave about that i didn't get that because this just worked perfectly fine for me for my other two so i'm just gonna stick with that for now okay moving on now frida maxi pads never used these before these are like um instant ice maxi pads actually i heard this comes with a pack of eight i heard that they're amazing that they give you such relief because in the hospital they're just really going to give you like a bag of ice um i do remember what my daughter though it was like a ice pad but it wasn't really that that comfortable supposedly these are a lot more comfortable so i'm excited to try these for relief down there um also a belly band this is from target you can find it on amazon as well and this is just gonna help shape you after pregnancy just put you back together um so i got this in a medium large and usually a medium regular size anyway so i never used the band before with any of my other kids so i'm excited to try this now moving on sits bath hospital does provide you with sits bath sometimes i'm not sure about all hospitals every hospital is different um but this is major major key you want a sits bath this one i got off amazon and you can actually hang it it has a hook which is great it comes in this bag which you can hang it in your bathroom as well cover it up because what's beautiful about it sits bath <laughs> nothing um so you have this pump and you can fill this up with your water some people put espen saw um they actually sell different things you can put in there for a mom to recover i'm pretty sensitive down there i'm just gonna go with the hot warm water actually warm water so then you just go like this pump and this squirts up and sprays you and instant relief i'm telling you yeah i got off amazon as well okay also i'm not gonna breastfeed because it just didn't work out well for my other two so i did buy nursing pads though because you are gonna leak regardless if you breastfeed or not so these i got from target postpartum panties never purchased these before but I got these off Amazon. Um, I usually just use regular high waist panties. But I heard a lot of good reviews about these. And I also have a lot of pregnancy panties that were pretty big and high waisted because you want to be comfortable. And these actually have this lining inside, which will help for leakage purposes. If you know what I mean? <laughs> for blood and stuff. So definitely I would recommend getting some postpartum um panties a lot of moms on youtube said they use them they love them they have amazing reviews on amazon as well also comfortable robe especially or um if you're not robe i'm sorry nightgown you don't want to be putting on pants and stuff right after you have a baby it's going to be uncomfortable it's going to be tight so i found these off um the target website they're so soft i have the matching robe and they're definitely going to be very comfortable for after giving birth. I have a black one and then I have the gray one here. So you want to be comfy. Some comfy slippers. Um, I have these here in black and in this cream color off Amazon. Super comfy as well for when you're just chilling at home recovering with your beautiful newborn. Um, also, I have some extra panties. Just, you know, a little bigger than my normal size because obviously you're gonna be bleeding for a while. You're gonna have to wear pads for a while. You're not gonna be able to wear sexy underwear and you don't wanna mess your underwear up. So that's basically it for my um, postpartum items. Another thing I would just like to say is that the hospital should prescribe Tylenol, but if not have some Tylenol, you're definitely gonna be in pain after. And also, um, in here, I'm already taking them because I take iron pills, stool um, softener. Your doctor will prescribe that as well. Major thing to remember, use the stool softener that brought you. Well, my first child, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna need that. I didn't realize how much it was gonna hurt and how much pain I was gonna be in the first time I went to the bathroom after giving birth so please i highly recommend if you take anything from this video 
use the soil softener um because the first time you use the bathroom after giving birth it is very painful so you want it to be the least painful that it can be and using the soil softener will definitely help with that um another thing i would say is a lot of people um that have babies when they feel postpartum depression so if you feel as though you've been sad for two weeks after having your baby call a friend call your doctor speak with someone don't deal with it alone um you're not alone it's a common thing don't be ashamed of it it happens to a lot of mothers i personally didn't experience that but i know people that have and that can be very hard to deal with so make sure you're taking care of you as well after you have the baby make sure you're eating you're still taking your vitamins don't just let it consume you to the point where like you're not taking care of yourself and um just you know enjoy the experience purchase your items before pan so you're prepared and um yeah i hope that this video helped you guys and it's my first youtube video so um hope you guys enjoyed and i'll be back posting some more videos soon bye bye